Good morning guys on day 12 of the Camino del Norte. I think I'm about one third of the way to Santiago and it's going by so fast. I'm walking through uh, suburbia, Bode Pielagas. I uh, woke up this morning at 7 a.m. sharp. Was the first one out the dorm. Took my things to the kitchen, had breakfast, and I uh, left Iaberge at 7.45. Today was that day that if I would have started in Santander, it would have been a 37 kilometer day as a monster. And, uh, but I gained some ground. I did about 13 or 15. So today's gonna be an easy 22, 25 kilometer day. And uh, there were a few options uh, living in town. First one, I could have walked the old Camino that was, uh, I guess, discontinued in 2016, but I would have had to cross uh, some rail tracks, a bridge over a river, which you're not allowed to do anymore. So you could have taken the train, one station, save yourself 1.3 miles, about three kilometers or so, or you could just do the new Camino. I decided when I got to the split on the road, it was, uh, it was like a, by an overpass, I decided, you know what, today is a short day, let's just do the, the right thing, and I went on foot. If you were doing the Camino from Santander, it could be an option to just take the train for that one stop, or just walk across the bridge, it's not a big deal anyways. Five hundred and sixty kilometers to Santiago. Come on, guys, get your act together. I saw five eleven yesterday. It's El Camino Frances all over again. A 16% chance of uh, rain is starting to materialize. It's a little drizzle, not to worry right now, not a big deal, but it can turn into uh, something worse. Luckily, I'm almost close to town. See if I can find a cafe or, uh, or maybe a bus stop. Take out my poncho, because I have it well down in my backpack, back there, and uh, put it on top. In case I need to grab it really quickly, be ready. You know, today we're kind of walking not close to the sea, but a little bit inland. And uh, it's going to be a lot of asphalt, a lot of road work, and up and down from village to village over like small hills, I guess. Not too, not too big, but it's just going to be like constantly doing that for 20 kilometers or so. And uh, yeah, go away, little rain. nice little bridge so I'm out into the countryside once again place I love 
Love the smell of the wet grass, the birds singing, crossing over rivers, seeing wildflowers, the, the farm life. All the, you know, the senses are activated out here. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about water and water consumption. I usually, in all the trips, I've taken a, a camelback with a filter attached to it so that I could drink water from any pothole, river, you name it, in case of an emergency. But I've noticed that here in Spain, uh, you don't really need it. There's a lot of water fountains that you can find along the way, and when there are none, they'll let you know in advance. You stop by bars or restaurants, you can have a beer, water, soda. So I just carry like a small bottle of water, like a half a liter, and I'm sipping away during the day. When I get to about half, I stop drinking from it, leave it as a reserve, and then when I see a water fountain, I'll just drink the rest and refill and repeat the process. Still cloudy, but the rain or the little drizzle stopped long ago. It is a cool day, not too bad, but at least I'm not getting scorched by the sun. Of course, when it's cold, I want the sun. When it's sunny, I want the cold. It's the never-ending dilemma. Enjoying it out here, man. Can't believe I'm one-third of the way to Santiago. It's going by so fast, and I wanted to stop. wanted to slow down, because even though there are days that are hard out here, when you're home, you wish you were still back here. So, uh, Let's enjoy the moment then. Been walking through uh, small little villages it is uh, Sunday so every single bar has been closed I guess it comes with the territory right now I'm walking by a home supply store and I'm seeing shower heads is it a hint of what's to come ahead in the day <laughs> also been switching back and forward between the road and the countryside just past the town of uh, Mar probably in the next town and uh, I'll be able to find an open bar. It's a bigger town, so we'll see. See a gas station, I can stop there too. Yeah, Cafeteria Restaurante. Let's give it a try. I need that mid-morning snack. Skies are clearing up. I can see blue up ahead. Check it out. Always a welcoming sight. So, Let's uh, refuel at a gas station. Sounds about right. It 
was a lovely Veda where I found a water fountain and a resupply and uh, the water was so strong the pressure on the pipe that uh, it drenched my feet both my feet were completely covered in water and then after that it was goodbye Viveda and now I'm walking by the road there you go following this path and uh, close to town already guys finally made it to Santillana del Mar by mistake what I would say I thought I was actually in another town in a previous town I decided to stop by the church and get a little caña just to cool off from the sun and all of a sudden I started seeing tourists everywhere and I was like uh oh this seems to be the place so I uh, I checked on my phone and of course I was already in Santillana del Mar which they call the town of the three little lights First, because there's no saint, it's not plain, and it's not next to the sea. I stay at the albergue. This one here is, the, is actually a monastery. Very nice place. Lots of room, lots of beds. I have my own little uh, uh, space with only one bunk bed, and there's so many of them that I feel like I'm going to have a room all to myself tonight. I wanted to go see the, the caves that are nearby. They're two kilometers away. They're the case of uh, Altimar, and I, I'm a huge fan of archaeology, and this one has one of the oldest paintings uh, here in Europe, so I was just dying to see it, but it's already closed. It closed at 3 p.m. today, and tomorrow is Monday, and on Monday, museums are not open. So, I already took a shower. I was going to do my laundry, but I don't have uh, soap. I lost it. I left it behind a few days ago at an albergue along with a plastic cover. So I feel like I need to go in town and try to find a supermarket and get myself one because I can't do laundry right now by hand. There are two machines. It's four for the washer and three euros for the dryer. Seven euros just to wash one set of clothes might be a little bit too much. So I think I better get myself some soap and do it by hand. There's plenty of sun right now. The skies are completely clear, blue, as you can see. And I may actually have some time to get them dry, which hasn't been the case because, I don't know, for some reason, either the humidity in the air is super high or I just don't not giving them enough time. But always I have to uh, end up drying them in the heater system in the albergues, once, uh, the ones that are on. I get a chance to do that. If not, I have to put it back on my backpack. So enough talking here. I think I'm gonna go in search of that soap, maybe get some lunch, because I'm a little bit hungry. It's 3 p.m.
sunlight is falling on uh, Santillana del Mar, this amazing little village with a medieval kind of look to it. Kind of reminds me a lot of uh, the villages that I went through in uh, Italy, like uh, San Gimignano or San Miniato. And uh, the only thing now left to do is just wait for the bars and the restaurants to open so I can have a proper pilgrim uh, meal because I just went for ice cream this afternoon. I did a sugar overload. And uh, I was also able to buy a bar of soap. I just don't have that plastic to container to uh, store it. Did not wash my clothes, so I guess tomorrow I have to find a machine so that I can do both sets at once. And uh, yeah, that's it. Just strolling, lazy strolling the town, looking through every corner, every little uh, alley. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be a 20 plus kilometer day and uh, I'm gonna reach the sea once again. So see you then.